the Game Awards. For the last five years, we've been having this show, and it has been like, it, not amazing, but it, it, it's been a show. You know, it's not it's not the Grammys or you know the ESPYS or anything in that matter. It's just it's it's a show about video games. That's what it is. And oh god, just it, it's had its problems. Man, like, look, this is this is kind of insane. Like, we're here, we're serving this. Look, the Oscars should <laughs> themselves up. This is <laughs> it. I'm telling you, this is this is the real. <laughs> But the Game Awards truly did have some great moments, and Nintendo is definitely no exception to this. They have brought to the table some amazing things, well, except for a couple years back when the only thing they revealed was Cranky Kong for Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. I mean, it was a letdown, and even Jeff Keighley himself knew it was a letdown because he wanted Metroid. So it was now the year 2018, a year later, and we are about to come up on the Game Awards once again. But what does Nintendo need to bring to the show? How many games are they bringing? How many announcements? Well, let's get down to the facts. Jeff Keighley says this will be a world record for the show, meaning that there's going to be 10 brand new game reveals, but not only those game reveals, but also updates on occurring games already. So that takes out a lot for Nintendo because there's a lot of games that Nintendo already announced that they can clearly just update. So before we start diving into brand new games that Nintendo can show, let's talk about the games that they could update us on. Of course, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, the game comes out just the day after the Game Awards, but is there anything left that Sakurai is hiding in this game? Well, we do know one thing that is happening. There is a day one patch for the game, but many people are saying that it's based on replays. With the Sakurai interview, this is what he said. There's a problem with the replays and stuff, and that's the only thing that he's patched. But is there something more that he's hiding? Is there something else that is being added to the game in that patch that he just didn't want anybody to know or anybody to have because he knew the game would be leaked? He knew there were review copies and he knew that we live in a society where people are idiots. Now, I'm just saying, I'm not saying, but I'm saying, get what I'm saying here, okay? What if there's just potentially, what if maybe potentially somehow reasonably a character left that Sakurai did not put in the game yet. Maybe it's already programmed, it's been put in, it's been reworked, it's been, you know, like, put out to the best it could possibly be just like all the other characters, but he pulled it out of the game right before the game's release, or he just pulled it out of the game from the beginning because he didn't want this character getting out in any type of leaks or anything. He wanted this character to be as special as possible. So he's saving and he's holding on to this character and he removed the assets and he's going to put the character right in the game on launch in that day one patch. It's possible, it's very possible, or it could be a game mode, who knows, but what if it's a character, what if it's a big one too, like Geno or even Banjo? That would be something incredibly big at the Game Awards, and not even Nintendo fans, but just, you know, outside of them, even like Microsoft fans and everybody, they would be going crazy to see the return of Banjo, and especially in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Next up is Metroid Prime 4. Now, this is not a new game announcement. Once again, this has already been confirmed last year at E3. So, this is just would be a game update. And I think this is almost a guarantee confirm for the Game Awards. I think Nintendo has to show something of this game soon. This game was shown off over a year ago. And no gameplay of it. Just the, tra just the title. And now we need gameplay. And what's a better time than a Game Awards? The Game Awards is more of a little bit of a more of a mature audience and stuff like that. So I think it would work out really well here. I think lots of people would go crazy to see Metroid finally. And especially with Jeff Keighley always hinting at Reggie every single year. Are you going to bring Red? Uh, you going to bring uh, Metroid? Are you going to bring Metroid? Hey, how, about, how about Metroid? You know, and you can just tell Jeff really wants Metroid at his show because he knows how big it'll be and how much it'll mean for him in the show total so i think it'd be great i think it'd be grand i think it would blow up the internet just to have a cool trailer um a little bit of gameplay to show some you know maybe some cinematic cutscenes of like the story and stuff but this is actually being so much confirmed right now on the internet because jeff Keighley didn't mention that some of the games were going to get you know some leaks and some like hints throughout the um on the internet until uh the the release of, or until the showing which is the sixth so there's lots of media coverage from youtube channels and um, lots of people are in on it. Game Explained, Spawn Wave and stuff. They're all in on what's going to be shown, I'm pretty sure. Or, you know, some ideas of what's going to be shown. And they have been tweeting out some pay of some very specific and suspicious things. Uh, John Cartwright on Twitter put out, If only we had an x-ray visor to see what these games are. Um, come on, dog. I mean, how how, how much of a, of a hint? That's, that's a hint and a half right there. Um, it, it just is crazy. Spawn Wave literally sends out a picture of Sam is giving the thumbs up. Um, uh, I mean, come on, dude. Uh, it, and it just keeps going on from there and stuff. And this is why it, it just gets so close. Um, 
it, I don't know. It just we might actually see Metroid Prime, and I think this is actually going to be a thing that happens. I am very, very, very sure that Metroid Prime will be here. I'm almost 100% sure, so I think we can get ready for that one. Also, is it time for DLC? Nintendo did come out and say that some of their games that currently do not have DLC will look at getting DLC coming in the future, and that Nintendo wants to continue with it because it has been doing very well for the company, and that's awesome. I think it absolutely has. Splatoon 2's Octo Expansion was amazing. Uh, Mario Rabbids, the Donkey Kong expansion, was amazing. Uh, you know, even with <laughs> Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, that was amazing. It's DLC pack. So... DLC has to continue. I mean, we know Smash has it now, you know, and it just seems like every game coming out has it. But of course, the one game that I really wanted it the most was Super Mario Odyssey to keep the game fresh and alive and still going. Um, but unfortunately, it still has not been confirmed. We've seen Isle Delphine on the game. I've been over it a thousand times. I would love for there to be Sunshine DLC and stuff. But it looks like there could still be a chance because Nintendo's holding it on. And maybe this is what they've been waiting for is to show it off here at the Game Awards. So, you know, if we get DLC, I could just be nothing but super happy because it is one of the very few things that I still really, really, really am waiting for Nintendo to do that. And, of course, the Skyward Sword port, but you, you guys probably heard how that went. Um, but we'll get to that in a second. But DLC, I think, is a really good possibility here. Or it could be straight more a Mario Kart 8 DLC. I heard that game planned on getting more DLC as well. And the only thing we got since they announced that was the Master Cycle Zero and Breath of the Wild Link skin for Link, obviously. So, uh, you know, we need some Odyssey DLC. Come on, this would be a great time to show that off. We all can go back to 2018, right before E3, when the rumors and leaks came out once again, similar to Mario Rabbids giving us information that there was going to be a brand new Star Fox racing game in the vein of the Star Fox Grand Prix. And we all thought it was happening. We all thought it was for sure. You know, it was coming through many sources that we were 100% confident from. And they were saying, yes, we see the files. We know what's happening. It's happening happening e3 came nothing happened nintendo direct came after that nothing happened where is this game we know this game exists i'm pretty daggone sure this game exists you know people have been spot on seriously accurate with this saying that this is happening you know i've seen it was like a collective leaker group talking about this is happening so i just think nintendo hasn't revealed it yet they chose not to reveal it yet because of the leak and they want to work out some things but i'm actually kind of excited about it if they do some cool things with it and this could be where they show it. It's not too great of a great, uh, great of a game. It's not too great of a game where Nintendo has to save this for E3. But it is something that Nintendo could definitely show off at the Game Awards and say, "Look, here's a cool little trailer stuff. Star Fox Grand Prix coming in the summer, or coming in the fall next year, or coming in the spring, whatever." Um, and I think they could do that, and I think it really wouldn't cost them much. And I think the Game Awards is a really cool place to do that. And really, as far as any new games, it's all up to Nintendo. They could really show off a variety of things. A new Paper Mario game, a new port, you know, the, the, the Skyward Sword port that was supposed to be, you know, leaked by Alnuma. But apparently Nintendo said it's not happening. Maybe they're just covering it up because it's going to be revealed here. So maybe something's going to be revealed here. Maybe another type of Zelda, a top-down style Zelda, going to be revealed here. Or just maybe something else that we really aren't expecting. Who knows? Paper Mario, I'm wanting another Paper Mario, please. And do it right, Nintendo. But, um... Who knows? It's all up to Nintendo. We could finally get Pikmin here. I don't think we will. I think that's more of an E3 thing. But, you know, we're just going to have to wait and see. I cannot wait to see. And, of course, this upcoming week is going to be hyped as uh, Fortnite Season 7. If you guys are into Fortnite, I'm pumped up for that. And then, of course, the Game Awards and then Smash Ultimate on Friday. It's going to be a week for sure. It's also my final exams that week, so it's a both mixture of studying and putting out videos for you guys. But coming up soon is the part two of the Kirby music we need in Smash. And as we continue out with the series, we're going to continue with a, some more of those first party characters. And uh, such as, you know, Link, Yoshi and them. And then we'll nail it out with some of the third parties like Sonic. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in. And let me know, guys, in the comments what you guys think is going to be revealed at this year's Game Awards. Thank you, guys. And I'll see you then. Hi, this is Faker. I'm really glad to receive such a, uh, an honorous award. Last year, when I saw a different player receive this award, I was really jealous of him, and I won one for myself. I, this year, I really didn't expect to receive this award, but I think this is due to all the fans, uh, t for the fans voting for me. And I'll keep trying my best to show a better performance next year as well. Thank you.